Meantime, well, studies show that thousands of Australians suffer from hormone problems and you could be one of them. Do you ever struggle to find happiness in your relationship? Do you feel stressed, find it hard to lose weight or suffer from poor energy levels? If you answered yes to any of these questions, the good news is there is a solution. Health advisor Sambo Patrick joins me now. Good morning to you, Sam. Good morning. What is the main reason that, that we suffer from hormone disorder? There's a few reasons. Um, in Australia, women are changing their diet, so they're eating a lot more carbohydrates than ever before. So carbohydrates push insulin up, which push your testosterone levels up. Mm -hmm. So there's a change there. And I think in the last 30 years, a lot of women have changed their roles. A lot of them are now in the workforce and thinking about careers, which places a lot of stress in their life, which has a diabolical effect on their bodies and their hormone levels. So how do you know you're not just having a bad day? How do you know if you've actually got a hormone disorder? So bad days come and go. Uh, generally, if you've got a hormone problem, it'll hang around and it'll become a recurring, recurring thing. And you'll be falling into bed at night going, I'm just not happy with my life. Things aren't panning out the way I thought they would. Then you have to start looking at if you've got other symptoms of it, period problems, um, if you've developed any breast cancers, if you're growing facial hair, things like that are all polluting to the fact you have a hormone imbalance. So that's not just about you know, the, the natural path that a, a woman can tend to take because you know, hormonally we're, we're a fairly complex being. Yes. They are the, a sign that something is definitely wrong. Yes, definitely. So I, I still maintain that people should be able to wake up full of energy, feel really happy throughout the day, have sustained energy, not be overstressed and have a normally functioning 24 hour body clock with a normal period that comes every month. Okay. For a lot of people, that's just not happening anymore. All right, well, you've put t some tips together yes. on how women can, can better achieve that. First one, I don't get, become more girly. What does that yeah. mean? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if there's a term for it, technically, but I'm calling it re-feminise. So become more in touch with the girly side of your, of your life. So maybe it represents um, having flowers in the house, maybe growing your hair, wearing makeup, wearing dresses. A lot of girls um, are becoming quite masculine in the way they approach their life. And guys will tell you that, they don't like it. And you can start to see it in um, around the office place. A lot of women are very masculine, more in touch with their man side than their girl side. Right, so hormonally that will rebalance us. Uh, yes. Um, next one is reassess your life. Yes, so uh, another big part of this is stressing and stressing about the small stuff that really doesn't matter. So it's really important to know what your purpose in life is what you see your priorities in life as, and then staying true to yourself and just not sweating the other stuff. If you're going to examine your diet, should you look at the level of hormones that you're taking in? Should you be looking at that food labelling? Yes, certainly um, food labelling is quite important. Um, not having a diet that's based on breads, you know, toast, sandwiches, pasta for night, those things will make a massive impact and eating as clean as possible. So a nice piece of meat and some fresh veggies is perfect. From the markets, even better. And good old exercise, it rebalances everything, doesn't it? Does. It does, yeah, it's so important. Okay, and Sam, um, just quickly, I understand that you're in the possible lineup for Oprah's show. When yes. do you find out whether or not you're going to be on? Well, hopefully in the next week or two. So Good luck. Yeah, thank you. I'm sure you'll have plenty of advice for her. She <laughs> likes this sort of topic. Yeah, so Sam Patrick, thanks a lot for thank that. Thank you very Over much. Over to you, Carl. Imagine if she got Oprah, her hormones would be going nuts. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Coming up after the break, call today's news, sport and weather. And we've got $45,000 on the line. The great cash giveaway. It's a record and we're going to break it.